Think about your life. As much as you'd like to remember memories from your deep past, there is a time from where you don't remember anything. If you go back in your mind, thinking about your earliest memories from childhood, the first glimpses of memories. At some point, everything stops, and you don't remember a thing. Now, leap back from your first memories to the present moment and think about it. Everything you've lived, your memories, feelings, everything that makes you who you are, was made possible by your consciousness. Your awareness of the world, of everything around you, your awareness of yourself, loved ones, nature, the universe, spirituality, all of it was possible because you are conscious. This awareness allowed you to experience the carousel of emotions throughout your life. When you draw a line and reflect on your life, you might say it was good, decent, or tough until now. Everything you've sought in your life, likely driven by the desire to find happiness, was available in your mind because you exist. Even if you conclude that your life has been difficult, unbearable at times, or mostly positive, consider this, without any form of awareness, you wouldn't have experienced any aspect of your life, positive or not. Even the most challenging moments might have taught you something precious. Perhaps you've learned from those moments. They could have been intense, tragic, or traumatic. The impact of these times may have lingered for years, and you might have fought to regain a happier state of mind. If you've learned something from these challenging moments, I congratulate you. You possess a special personality trait and haven't given up. Life's hardships can provide us with a different perspective, a deeper understanding of everything around us. I'm not suggesting that enduring hardship is necessary for personal growth or establishing a profound connection with the universe from a spiritual standpoint. Difficult times can be inevitable, but our advantage is that we can transform most of these difficult moments into something positive. Over 2000 years ago, Aristotle stated that people desire happiness more than anything in the world. Have you ever considered that nearly everyone you know is pursuing happiness? This applies to humanity as a whole, with a few exceptions. We all desire a happy life. And while the current context might present challenges, achieving happiness remains realistic. Yet, being in a continuous state of ecstatic pleasure isn't feasible. Instead, we can achieve an ordered state of consciousness, a less conflicting one, a state of flow, as psychologist Mihai Csikszentmihalyi has pointed out. Valuing our existence and being thankful for it can help us accept life's most challenging aspects more easily. The fact that we exist has given rise to both happiness and unhappiness. Consider the times you've created beauty in your life, driven by altruism and focusing on others. There's a unique feeling attached to this, a positive emotion that brings you closer to happiness. In time, you may discover that happiness isn't solely about you. Viktor Frankl, the founder of Logotherapy, said, Don't aim at success, the more you aim at it and make it a target, the more you are going to miss it. Happiness must happen, and the same holds for success, you have to let it happen by not caring about it. I want you to listen to what your conscience commands you to do and go on to carry it out to the best of your knowledge. Then you will live to see that in the long run, in the long run, I say, success will follow you precisely because you had forgotten to think about it. In the end, remember how special you are simply because you exist. For the beautiful moments in your life, whether few or many, life was worth living. For the times you've been captivated by knowledge and wisdom, let that feeling linger within you. I leave you with another piece of wisdom from Viktor Frankl. Life is not primarily a quest for pleasure, as Freud believed, or a quest for power, as Alfred Adler taught, but a quest for meaning. The greatest task for any person is to find meaning in his or her own life.